Yo, drop the bow, son. Drop the bow, drop the bow. I'm gonna just put your hands up really fast so I can see who you have in that loot sack and then I'm gonna be on my way, okay? Just F4 so I can check your loot sack. Backpack, drop the backpack on the, on the floor. This is a robbery. Put your hands up, draw the backpack. Put your, don't run away. Put your hands up, come on. Just show me what's in the backpack. This is the worst robbery that I've ever done. Could you just drop your backpack or put your hands up so I can check your backpack? All right, I'm gonna loot the town. I don't wanna see your face around these parts, okay? Go that way. Yeah, that way, go ahead. Yeah, there you go, limp in the woods. Why were you so uncooperative? I just wanted to see what's written in your backpack. Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything and or say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scum. Today I am back on the official hardcore server. It's called Scum Hardcore Server 1 Europe. There is a new S1 as well, but I am of course playing on the European one. We've played here before the other day and it was a ton of fun. I did get blasted over at the C2 bunker, but it was still a lot of fun playing on the server. Now when it comes to this hardcore official server, it has no map which I, I really like. The puppets are very dangerous, a couple of hits from them and it's it's night night forever. And the loot is it's pretty scarce. You can indeed find stuff as you will see throughout the video, but it's uh you know it's slim pickings, which again it's um uh, it's not bad. I quite I quite enjoy it. Now as we all know I've played quite quite a lot of scum and I know the map pretty well by now so as soon as I started on the server I quickly figured out that I was in C1 in the town just outside of the bunker. I started by looting the town and I got a couple of things I got myself a backpack I found some 9mm ammunition and some 45 and I also made an improvised metal spear and then I decided to take it a bit slow and not go straight for the bunker without a working gun. So instead I headed over to the observatory which turned out to be a very good idea. Alright so we are at the observatory and there are a ton of puppets here. I did manage to find this year MP5. I don't have a mag for it, so we're using it with single loadings. I do have about what, 16 bullets, so that's good. I have an M9 magazine as well. I haven't found any other weapons here B5 besides the, the MP5. Now the plan is this. I am going to try, and big emphasis on try, I'm going to actually try and craft the improvised bulletproof armor. Now we need some skin some scrap, we need bolts, and we also need a sewing kit. I've been looking for some thread, but I've just not been able to find any. So that's the plan right now. I'm trying to find some thread so we can make an improvised sewing kit because we can get skin from the puppets and we can find a lot of metal around these parts as well, the scars and whatnot. So that shouldn't be a big problem, but I need either a straight up sewing kit or some thread so I can make an improvised sewing kit. But for right now, I'm just looking around for uh, some thread. See if we can find any. Oh, military quiver. Heck yeah. Some of these, some of these. Oh, heck yeah. All right, so I found some bobby pins. I also found a couple of screwdrivers. We have five of them. So we can, in fact, open up the containers from from the observatory from right, right back there which is uh, which is nice hopefully we're gonna find a mag for this mp5 chances of actually finding a mag for this yeah slim to none but i mean might as well give it a shot i'm not gonna hit up the bunker because i mean it's just a dead sentence at this point if i find a mag for this yeah i'm gonna go straight to the bunker but if we don't, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it easy like I usually take it, hit up some smaller places until we get some better things. What the hell? By the way, the, the improvised metal spear is growing on me. Is uh is growing on me, I like it. I'm starting to really like it. Alright, so we are going to lockpick these two here containers and we are going to hope for the best. 
Let me put this down. Let me put this on my back. Take out a couple of bobby pins. Turn them into lockpicks. And we're gonna try our luck. I see here. First one is... <gasps> Dig! Don't mind if I do. Alright, second one. Here we go, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, come on. Well, I mean, we did find a dig, so... We can't really complain, can we? Alright, so I've searched this entire place top to bottom. That is the only place that I have not searched. This, uh, this building here. I haven't found thread, I haven't found a sewing kit, but I did find a couple of good things at the observatory, so I can't really complain here. I found the MP5, I found a dig, I found a crowbar, screwdriver, safety pin box, I found I found a holster as well, so we found a lot of things here. Granted, not what I wanted, but still good things, very good things, so I'm gonna search this building. If I can't find anything, we're gonna head to the nearby town, which is west of here. And hopefully we're gonna find some thread in the buildings there. What is this? Ah, come on. So I found the MP5, and I also found a deagle and a couple of other very good things. But no thread or a sewing kit in order to try and craft myself an improvised bulletproof vest. Since loot is pretty scarce, chances of me finding a bulletproof vest were pretty low, so the plan was to try and make the improvised one. You will see throughout the video that I failed miserably, but, <laughs> but that was my goal, to try and make an improvised vest. But since the observatory was a bust when it came to thread or a sewing kit, I decided to try my luck at the nearby town. Which again, heading over there turned out to be a very good idea. Oh, get lost. Get lost, video. Oh. <laughs> now we're talking. I'm gonna drop the axe, we can just quickly craft an axe whenever we want. So that should be alright. I still have yet to find thread, but I found three guns, two of which are working. The MP5 and the Hunter, and we also have the Dig. <laughs> Why do I have an extra balaclava? So we have the MP5 with bullets and the Hunter with bullets. If I die armed like this, I'm gonna cry and I'm not even joking. I did find a bunch of good things, actually very good things, but no thread or a sewing kit unfortunately. So I kept on looking around and made my way all the way to the radio tower and I decided to check it out as well. To see if maybe I would get some luck over there when he came to thread. <laughs> I found a bunch of things, right? I found weapons, ammunition, you know, a holster and whatnot. But of course I'm like over here being disappointed that I can't find a piece of thread. <laughs> I should be grateful. Hardcore server, I found weapons and ammunition for them. But yeah, we pick up over at the radio tower. Oh! Oh, oh my god, bruh. Bruh. Scared the crap out of me. Back it up. I found handy scope. <gasps> no. No, oh, no, no, no. I thought they were right behind me. Dude, the puppets are so scary. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's another! No! Please, I beg of you. Close that. Whew. 
Oh boy. That was fun. What is happening? <gasps> no way. Get the okay, 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 okay. You know, you know what? You know what? Regroup, regroup. We're regrouping. As I was saying, I found me a hunting scope. Hey, can. All right, so we have some range. Of course, it's a twenty-two rifle. Yeah, it's probably not gonna do me any good, but at least we can scope out a couple of places. And if push comes to shove, we can take a shot or two as well. Ah. <sighs> Right, so we have the hunter, we have the MP5, we have bullets for it. I haven't found a magazine for it, unfortunately, but we do have a couple of shots. We have the dig as well, but we don't have any sort of ammunition for it. But we're uh, we're moving up into the world here a little bit. I of course did not find what I wanted at the radio tower, but again, I did find good things, a hunting scope for my rifle. Now after leaving the radio tower, I skipped the C2 bunker because screw that, am I, am I right? And instead, I headed over to the town by the lake in D2. And since I had a scope, I went up in the mountains above the town and looked down to see if anybody was lurking around. And as luck would have it, somebody was indeed lurking in the town. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> Let's welcome him to the official hardcore servers. I'm not gonna kill him. But I will rob him. This is hardcore. Hardcore. He's got a bow. Oh, crap. <laughs> Yo, drop the bow, son. Drop the bow. Drop the bow. Put the bow down. Put the bow down. There you go. How's it going? Do you speak? You don't speak? <laughs> How's it going? You enjoying the hardcore servers? No? Can you nod? This is your first time here? You having fun? No, <laughs> you're bleeding, man. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just put your hands up really fast so I can see who you have in that loot sack, and then I'm gonna be on my way. Okay. Just F four so I can check your loot sack. F four. Or at least drop the loot sack so I can see what's in it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. He's just purposely ignoring me or what? Loot sack? A backpack! There we go, maybe you don't know what a loot sack is. The ba Can I just see what's in your backpack? I need some food. So you... I just... Can you... Fucking hell, mate. Can I just see what's in your bag? <laughs> I don't wanna just murder you. I could murder you and eat you, but I just... Come on! Come on! Show me what's in your bag. What's in your bag? Backpack. Drop the backpack on the on the floor. This is a robbery. Put your hands up. Draw the backpack. Put your. Don't run away. Put your hands up. Come on. Just show me what's in the backpack. I swear to God. Just show me what's in the backpack. Just show me what's in the backpack. And I'll leave. Just show me what's in the backpack. Come on, man. 
Come on, drop it. Drop the bag. That's so you don't run away from me. Just put the bag on the floor. Just put the bag on, don't run. Come on. Come on. Is it empty? Can you nod? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> this is the worst romp body that I've ever done. Could you just drop your backpack or put your hands out so I can check your backpack? Uh, Alright, you know what? Flip you, man. I'm leaving. Oh, oh, come on. Don't do me like that. Now you're making me feel bad. This is hardcore. Hardcore. Alright, I'm gonna loot the town. I don't wanna see your face around these parts, okay? Go that way. Yeah, that way. Go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Limp in the woods. Why were you so uncooperative? I just wanted to see what's in your backpack. I just wanted to see the backpack. That's it. Keep moving. Oh, that's <laughs> the other way. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> this is the worst robbery in the history of robberies. All right, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm sorry. Have fun. Don't try and snipe me with that bow. He could clearly understand me, and I kind of wanted to be the bad guy in the situation, but. Uh... <laughs> He just didn't want to cooperate. He didn't want to do any of the things that I said. Put your hands up, drop the backpack, nothing. Then he tried to run away, so I put a bullet in his leg so he would limp around. <laughs> because I was like, hold on, maybe he thinks that I don't have any ammo. Let me show him that I do have ammunition, but he just wouldn't do any of the things that I said. The town was looted, by the way, so I feel like he did have something in his loot sack that he didn't want to give me, so... Uh, you know, I didn't want to just turn up kill him. I just wanted to be like a, the bad guy and rob him and then kind of <laughs> run away. But <laughs> I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't rob him because he did not want to drop his backpack or put put his hands up. So I couldn't do anything besides, you know, just shoot him in the face and then check his backpack and his clothes. But I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to rob him. But didn't go very well, did it? I did look around the town because I wanted to see if he would, uh, he would try anything. Some revenge, maybe, but I didn't see him again. He he left. <laughs> Man. So it was a terrible robbery. Terrible robbery, but this is hardcore. Hardcore server. I should just get in the hardcore mindset of no mercy, but I just can't do it. I just, I just have to. <laughs> he was afraid. He was clearly fresh, right? But he did have the loot sack. He, he did spend time to make a bow and arrows and a spear, so... He must have had something in that loot sack, but I just couldn't, I couldn't get him to drop it and I didn't want to kill him, so yeah. But there we have it, I got kind of sick of the night time. I swear it was like 3 a.m. as I was starting on the server and I played for a good 3 or 4 hours and it was still night time somehow. I'm not sure if the server has longer nights and days, but I played for a long time and it was still dark. But there you have it, that was about it for my day in Scum. I hope everybody enjoyed. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out with me today. Drop some stuff and things down below. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.